Hey everyone, I am back with another video. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's staying safe. So generally, I'm not really a fan of detoxes or cleanses, but I've really been wanting to try this sugar detox because it's a little bit different. It is a little bit restrictive in regards to what you can and can't have with sugar and everything like that but it isn't restrictive with eating healthy and fresh whole foods. So I got this idea from an Instagram account that I follow. Um, her name is Rachel. Her account is called Rachel Good Eats. I'm gonna link it here and link everything in the bio, but I really, really love her account. She's a registered dietitian and personal trainer. She posts a ton of really good clean recipes. I've made a lot of them and love them all. Um, I also eat a very similar diet to hers, so if you guys are wondering. And she actually sells the Sugar Detox ebook, so I'm going to link that as well. This isn't sponsored or anything, this is where I got the idea, so I definitely wanted to give her a shout out. So about this detox, it is seven days without any added sugars. Added sugars are just really not good for you and can be extremely addictive, especially when we can be consuming a lot more sugar than we think, because manufacturers sneak it into a lot of our everyday items that we may not even realize. One thing I really like about this detox um, is it really makes you check every label and kind of realize uh, which items in your pantry actually can have a lot of added sugars that you might not have realized before. There are so many different ways to name sugar and have it on the ingredient list. So I'm gonna have a list of stuff up here to kind of look out for. For this detox, you wanna focus on eating a lot of healthy proteins and healthy fats. So by removing sugar, you need to make sure you're eating enough protein and keeping yourself full. So seven days is long enough to notice a difference in how your body is feeling. So I'm going to keep track of my skin, my general health, my energy levels, my weight, and keep you updated because sugar really can affect a lot of those things. So I'm really hopeful. From what I've read, it can be quite hard, especially in the first few days. You might even go through withdrawals because sugar is very addictive, especially if you have a lot of it. So don't be too hard on your yourself if you can't do it or you need to cheat a little bit but just try your best to cheat with like healthier alternatives like honey or maple syrup um, fruits so with that being said honey maple syrup dates bananas they are natural and they are better for you but they are still sugars and they're very high in sugar so just keep that in mind it's good alternative if you are really craving something sweet I say go for that um, personally, I am going to be avoiding those throughout my detox and fruits that are very high in sugar. I'm going to try and limit my fruit intake to one to two servings per day. I don't eat that much sugar in general already, so I want to be a little bit more extreme with like the maple syrup and honey, but it's totally up to you. I think it's good to start slow because I have heard that the first few days can be a little bit hard. I read that um, after the seven days, fruit will even taste way better or sweeter because you're not as used to it. You'll have less sugar cravings and maybe some things just won't appeal to you as much anymore because they are so sweet and you're more sensitive to it. So going to show you before and after results of my body. I'm going to be working out a lot. I'm going to tell you guys um, how much I've been working out as well so you can kind of factor that in. Some things I wanted to list to kind of remind you guys to check are dressings and condiments like ketchup I know has sugar, um, bread a lot of the time has sugar, even some chips like tortilla chips, tostitos have sugar, kind of sauces or even seasonings, canned soups, granola, cereal is just never really good for you in general most of the time. Yogurt, you can still have plain yogurt. Make sure you check the labels because most yogurts do have added sugars. I'm gonna be avoiding all alcohol this week. I had my wine yesterday and kind of tried to get it out of my system because I do like to have wine with dinner. So it is day one of my sugar detox. I got off to a pretty good start. I went for a run this morning, did a good workout, and I just had coffee in the morning. I've been doing intermittent fasting lately. I've been kind of trying it out and I've actually been liking it. Um, so I'll probably talk more about it throughout this video. But now it is 12.30 and I am so hungry, so I'm gonna go make some lunch. I was making a little snack plate for lunch and I had these rice crackers and then I looked at the ingredients and it has corn maltodextrin. So I didn't know what that was, so I Googled it. And it is kind of a form of sugar, so I'm gonna leave it out. Make sure to check hummus, but this one is good. 
My mom picked me up a coffee. Um, it's just a cold brew and then I added some of my own unsweetened almond milk. So here is my dinner. It's a salad with a bunch of yummy stuff. We have chicken, rice, cauliflower, cabbage, um, also avocado, and I made a dressing for it with tahini and balsamic. It's like 8.30 p.m. right now and I'm actually super, super exhausted. I really don't feel like doing anything, but I was quite active today and I did a hard workout. And I've actually worked out like five days in a row, so I'm pretty sore. Um, since I already had fruit, I'm trying not to have too much fruit right now. Um, I was planning on having an apple and some peanut butter. That's usually my go-to after dinner snack, but I actually might make some popcorn instead. So right now it says that I've burned 590 calories and almost 9,000 steps. So it's a pretty active day considering I'm just staying at home. Good morning everyone. So today is day two of my sugar detox. I'm still a little sleepy. I just woke up but I had a coffee with some oat milk and now I'm gonna go for a really long walk. I don't really feel like running or doing too hard of a workout today because I'm still pretty sore. So for lunch, I had that um, kale and sweet potato salad. I've been feeling a little bit low energy again. I just had a coffee with some oat milk, um, but I think I might go have a little snack because I only really had that salad so far today. But overall, I feel pretty good. I haven't had too many crazy sugar cravings, which is nice. I made a little snack plate, some pickles, olives, tomatoes, some cheese, and a little bit of grapes and also some tea. So it is day three of my sugar detox. I just did a really good workout in the garage. I didn't go for a run because it's raining. Um, but one thing I noticed this morning is I was feeling really um, good in my stomach. I'm feeling not bloated, which is really nice because lately I have been feeling super bloated. So it was nice to wake up to that. I'm not sure if that's because of the sugar detox. Um, I also fasted last night. I stopped eating at 7 p.m. And it's 11, it's 11, 19 right now, so I haven't eaten yet. So that obviously factors in as well. So I had lunch and I just wanted to give you guys kind of a little update on how I'm feeling today. Um, so this morning I noticed I was quite tired and in my workout I did feel pretty tired as well. Um, and it's been a little bit of a trend the past three days. I'm not sure if it's because I'm kind of in withdrawals of sugar because I have been very strict. Um, I have been eating enough though. So I had a really big salad, I had a coffee, and I'm feeling a little bit better but I'm just feeling tired. Like my body is just tired. Good morning everyone. It is day four of my sugar detox. I'm feeling pretty good this morning. Um, last night I had some popcorn kind of late at night so I am not really good on my fasting game today but it's fine. Um, right now it's 11 a.m. I already had my coffee. So a little update on day four. Um, for dinner I had a minestrone soup. 
that I made. It was really good. Um, I made sure to check the pasta sauce that I used and it didn't have any added sugar, thank goodness. I was surprised, honestly. I thought it was going to have it. I also posted the recipe to that soup on my Instagram highlights. It's under the Lately. Um, I'm going to link it here so you guys can see if you want to check it out. It's such a good recipe. Um, I add a bunch of veggies and like sweet potatoes to it. My whole family loves it. So for the rest of the day, I was feeling a little bit off. Like just with headaches and like energy levels have been a little bit low. Um, but I think I am eating well enough. Maybe going to lean off the fasting um, and just listen to my body. And when I wake up, if I'm hungry, I'm just going to eat then. Good morning everyone, it is day five today and I woke up feeling a lot better than yesterday actually. I had a really good sleep, um, I don't have a headache or anything so I'm really happy about that. Um, it's a super nice day out so I'm gonna go for a walk. So I wanted to update you guys a little bit on yesterday. Honestly, yesterday was probably the hardest day to resist everything um, just because everyone was kind of eating sweets and I had to have some self-control, but I did it. But I felt really good yesterday. Like my energy levels were really good. Wasn't having any headaches. I didn't eat as healthy as I have been the entire week yesterday. Um, I had the soup for lunch and then I had a bunch of like random snacks and chips with some dip, but I made sure that the chips had no added sugar. It wasn't a perfect healthy day, but it was Saturday, so I kind of wanted to give myself a little treat. These were the chips I ate. Good morning, so it is day six. I am feeling really good today. I have a lot of energy. Um, I just did a workout, I went for a run, um, and actually did a pretty long workout in the garage, like some ankle weights and stuff like that. For lunch, I'm having a salad with tomatoes, cucumber, avocado, and balsamic vinegar. Good morning, everyone. So it is day seven today, um, the final day. I woke up feeling so good this morning. Honestly, I do think it is from the sugar detox because normally when I wake up, I'm like super groggy or just like don't feel amazing until I have my coffee. But I woke up just feeling so good and so refreshed, which was really nice. I haven't been getting headaches the past two days or anything. I've been feeling really good. I'm super happy about that. So this morning, I think I'm just going to go for a long walk. Uh, I don't feel like going for a run, but I never really do. I just got back from my walk, it's like 12.30 now, and I think I'm gonna do a workout, a hot Pilates workout at one. Normally I wouldn't eat before a workout, but it's getting pretty late and the workout starts at one, so I just got too hungry, so I'm having a little snack before. So here I just have a little bit of steel cut oats, some walnuts, cinnamon, and plain yogurt. Plain yogurt doesn't have added sugar if you make sure you check the label. But yogurt in general naturally does have sugar, so I am taking note of that and kind of counting it as a fruit. So I wanted to do a little recap um, and kind of share my thoughts with you guys about the seven day sugar detox. So I was actually quite strict. I didn't have any bananas, honey, dates or anything like that. I did notice on the first, like the third day, the fourth day, um, I was having headaches and I wasn't feeling the best. And I honestly think it was because I was in withdrawals from sugar. And it's just so crazy to me because I really didn't think it would affect me that much since I do eat pretty healthy. But since being in quarantine, I have been eating a lot more sugar than I normally would, say when I'm on my own in New York. 
so I was surprised by that but I powered through and by the fifth day I was feeling amazing like I would wake up and I'd have so much energy right away I do my workout I just felt so good on the fifth day and then even better the next day the sixth and the seventh and I also really wasn't craving so much sweets Honestly, for this detox, I wasn't expecting no crazy weight loss or something super different um, in how my body looks, first of all, because it's a week. Um, and second of all, you're not really limiting yourself food-wise. Like, I was still eating normal and still eating full, healthy meals, which I think is so important. Um, I don't want to do any kind of diet that's restricting myself too much. So the changes in my body aren't super dramatic. but I was more focused on this detox for how I would feel and also just kind of resetting my taste buds like I was saying before. By the end, I really wasn't craving sugar as much, which is kind of the point of this and I think it definitely did that. Right now, I really like want to try and stick to it and I'm definitely more aware of everything that I'm putting into my body and like checking labels. I feel like I'm just going to keep doing it anyways. Um, I don't want to be super obsessed about it though. I don't want to limit myself to like having a piece of cake or anything like that But I think in general it would be good for me to do this detox once in a while to kind of reset And like remind your body that you really don't need to be having so much sugar as for my weight um, I didn't notice too too much of a difference. I think I lost like about one and a half pounds um so it wasn't really the goal anyways, but I thought I would keep track of that. So yes, I definitely recommend giving this a try. Um, even if you can't do it, maybe try and do it for like five days to start. Um, and you can still have your fruits. If you want to have bananas, like still keep having bananas. Um, I would say like try and limit them if you can. It's better than having the processed sugar. That's what the main focus of this is, is to eliminate all the added sugars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit long, but I wanted it to be informative and kind of give you guys the full experience. And I really enjoyed filming it. I learned a lot for sure. Um, also, if you're going to try it, feel free to tag me on Instagram and message me on there.